You will get the most from any Systems to Win video when you launch it from its video home page. The purpose of this video is to introduce a few innovations inspired in the year 2019 by the Auto Industry Action Group and also to highlight a few differences that we believe will benefit all industries. On the main training page for your Systems to Win FMEA template, let's click this link that takes us to this training section where we give credit to the AIAG and VDA Alliance for investing a whole lot of years and over a billion dollars to come up with innovations that will benefit everyone in every industry. Perhaps the most noticeable innovation are the simple color-coded action priority codes that replace the RPN priority codes that should have been killed off decades ago. Even though the word priority is in the name risk priority number, every FMEA textbook warns don't use it for prioritization. It gives the wrong guidance. But surprise, surprise, many practitioners incorrectly used it that way. Let's go to the new FMEA template in Microsoft Excel and notice that where there used to be the two columns for risk priority number before and after corrective actions, there are now two columns for action priority codes providing crystal clear guidance using red, yellow, green signals to the team for where should you focus your attention. And if we go to the rating tab we see the legend for what those priority codes mean. Red is the team must identify actions to improve prevention and or detection. Yellow is they should. Green is they could. And there's a link to online training for how to personalize your rating tables as well as the criteria for severity, occurrence, and detection. You can actually personalize both the predefined criteria as well as supplement it with user-defined criteria and examples for what does 8, 9, or 10 mean in your unique environment. Back on our website, we honor the AIAG for its second major innovation of 2019, and that is the seven steps of FMEA. By superimposing the seven steps right there on the FMEA form itself, we accomplish several things. First, it becomes unavoidably obvious that the form itself starts with step number two. So there must be something that the team was supposed to be doing before they touch that leftmost column. And if we look just to the left of the print area on our FMEA template, we see that there are actually one and a half steps that are supposed to happen before we touch that leftmost column toward the end of phase two. First, we need to form our team. So let's follow that link which opens up our team sheet where we can not only define our team members and their contact information and responsibilities but also come back here and use this as an attendance log if we're complying with ISO uh, FMEA requirements. And then back on our sample sheet we see that there's a link that we can click to go to online help for more help with this first phase of the FMEA process, scope definition. And there we will find links to online training for things like this page for how to follow the steps to launch any type of process improvement team. Or we could follow this link to learn how to insert sheets. But since you've got me with you, let's do it together. Back in Excel, let's select the Systems to Win tab and then select this button to insert sheet. And we want to insert a sheet for leadership. Perhaps we'll insert a sheet into this workbook for a team charter or perhaps a Gantt milestone chart, a bowling chart, an action list, a to-do list, change management, whatever. It's your team. You run it your way. And we see that there's also a link to online help for FMEA Step 2, Structure Analysis. 
And here we learn that the types of analysis that we do and the documents that we use are different for a DFMEA versus a PFMEA. In the past, this is where so many FMEA teams got lost, is that they skipped these very important preparatory steps before they just jumped ahead and started putting data in that leftmost column of the FMEA form itself. Now the other major benefit of superimposing the steps right there on your FMEA template is that you can easily identify the columns for the sections that you want to temporarily hide until they're needed, thereby providing a less cluttered workspace. Now perhaps the most important and far-reaching innovation from AIAG is greatly improved attention to and clarity of relationships between the item or process step that is the focus of the FMEA and its parent and child relationships. So the very first column, we titled it parent, uh, that provides crystal clear guidance for teams. Hey, your first consideration needs to be to understand interrelationships between the item or process that you're focusing on and what's above it and what's below it. And in the step three function analysis section, uh, gone is that column that used to be called process requirements that just confuse the daylights out of everybody. In its place is requirement from the lower level. That's really obvious what that means. And then the column for the requirement of the step itself and then the function to the parent level. None of those, none of that existed. That clarity between the item or step and its parent and child levels did not exist before the 2019 version of the AIAG FMEA. And all of that is really, really helpful and useful. So if you are a member of an AIAG supply chain, then your Systems to Win FMEA template can be used in compliance with the new AIAG FMEA format because all of the columns are there except for one. And let's go look at that now. In the new AIAG suggested format in the section two for structure analysis, there are actually three columns for parent and step and then they have a really long title, but essentially a child or a components. And then their instructions for how to populate an FMEA are to start with the middle in each of these first sections. So you start with step, and then you work to parent, and then you work back to the component. Same thing in the function analysis. You go into the step, the requirement of the step, and then the function the requirement of the parent, and the requirement from a lower level. And they even switched a potential failure mode and effect just to have the same concept that you start in the middle of the section, then you work your way left, and then you work your way right. And all that might really make a lot of sense if someone sits down and explains it all to you, but we simply disagree. We have formatted your Systems to Win template to provide all the information needed for the new AIAG requirements, but to do it in a way that preserves left to right workflow. And one of the reasons that we did that is for all the other industries, not just auto, because most folks are going to prefer left to right workflow. So the way we did that was by parting with AIAG in two ways. One is that in step four, failure analysis, we didn't do anything. We didn't change anything. They're the ones who changed it. So we left potential failure mode where it's always been, to the left of failure effect, because that's the sequence that you'd normally do it anyway, is you look at mode first, then effect. Function analysis section is the identical to the new suggested AIAG format. We just disagree with the sequence that, uh, in our opinion, you start with the function to the parent and you work your way left to right. What's needed by the parent, then what's needed by the step, and then what's needed from the lower level. Now, it's your FMEA. You can go in any sequence you want. 
So the big difference is that we eliminated the third column in step two for structure analysis. But if you click the header for requirement from lower level and look at the pop-up help that appears, you will see our suggestion to start your data entry by first specifying the child component item or work element right here in this column alongside the requirement for that child work element or item. And then if you follow that tip, you can go to your Systems to Win menu and select the More drop-down, Set or Reset Filter. And then when we filter, we can use text filters begins with. And in that way, we can still filter by that same information that would have been taking up space in that extra column. And we did it in a way that preserves left to right workflow. And we believe that most FMEA authors and users will appreciate that. And that leads us to another difference between your Systems to Win template and most AIAG compliant software. We are a lot more space effective. We got short column header titles. You've already seen how optional columns can be hidden. And notice these first two columns, parent and step, notice how they're both specially formatted so that they serve as a section break for the first row of either a parent or a step, there shouldn't be anything in any other column in that first row. And that makes for a terrific space efficiency. And it's just visually appealing. But notice that if you click in the cell below the cell that has the visible words in the header, to the human eye or to a printer, it appears that that cell is empty. But if you look in the formula bar, you will see that it is not. It actually contains the same information as the top row of that section in that column. And that's true for every cell within that section. And what that means is that we have preserved your ability to use Excel's filter features, which you would have lost if you were using some homegrown Excel template where those were just empty blank cells or worse yet, merged cells. And if you scroll down below the print area, you'll find this help for which columns do and do not use repeat data. You, as the document author, simply copy and paste that top row within a section to all the other cells within that column until you hit a new section. We've done all the fancy conditional formatting so that to a human eye or to a printer, that looks like a merged cell when it isn't. And a few final differences between your Systems to Win Excel template and other AIAG compliant FMEA software is when you select the Systems to Win tab, open a blank sheet, and choose to insert a new FMEA sheet rather than a process flow diagram or a control plan, you will see that the design FMEA template is ready now. Not someday in the future, right now. And also multiple languages are available not someday in the future, right now. And not just header data, you can also switch between languages for your FMEA data itself. Your FMEA template comes with an entire suite of Design for Six Sigma tools and DMAIC tools. You can download your free trial and own them all. If you already own yours, thank you. We appreciate you as a valued customer.